Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I filmed a video. I've been gone on vacation for a couple weeks, but I'm back and I wanted to do a look incorporating some new products that I've purchased in the last month or two along with products that are good for travel. Um, my eyeshadow palette's really tiny. I have a bronzer highlight blush all in one. So just kind of products like that, that make your luggage a little bit lighter. Um, and just a look that's kind of more fresh, not so, well, I always try to do like not such a heavy look, you know, nothing under the eyes, just something that's a little more summer friendly, maybe heat friendly. Um, so if you want to see how I got this look and hear about the new products that I'm loving for summer and for travel, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to get started. And um, like I mentioned, these, a lot of these products that I'm using are new and they're also perfect for travel. Cause I know this is the time of the year where you're going and if you're taking carry on bags or whatever, which I never do, I always, you know, load it. But um, these are kind of smaller options and just they're ones that I, um, choose to take with me when I am heading out of town. So I'm going to try and make this speedy. I'm going to start with my go-to eye primer, which is a MAC Pain Painterly Prolong. It's this. Um, so I'm just going to... Okay. This everywhere. like so yeah like I don't know about you guys but um in the summer gosh it's really you know I like to wear makeup because I like or like foundation because I like to cover my freckles up some um yeah I know people are like oh they're cute well they're cute like when you don't have them um and they're okay like I've grown to love them I hated them when I was younger I hated them um, you know, but I'm 39, just turned 39 and, um, I'm finally kind of, not finally, the last couple of years I've kind of embraced them, but kind of not. <laughs> I still like to, um, I like to just cover them a little bit. So, you know, anyway. All right. So the new, this is a palette that I, we were on vacation for a few weeks last month and this is what I took with me. This was the only eyeshadow that I took with me and it is by Huda Beauty. It's the Warm Brown Obsessions palette. It's so little, like it's the size of my hand. So it's perfect for travel and it has every color you need. The only color, actually I lied. I did take one color. I took Nylon by MAC for my, like, a lighter highlight but you could use that in your inner corner but that is so I did I did bring one other but this is all I brought um this this is an awesome palette it's $27 they come in I think there's like seven different um like color combos but um I really like this one there's a mauve one that I really wait yeah because this is the brown which it's funny that they say this is the brown because I feel like there's two browns, but everything else is kind of orangey. But anyway, I'll just show you this. I'll just quit talking about it. So I'm just going to use first this, the only, you know, light color to kind of set my primer. But yeah, these, this is the first time I had ever used any Huda Beauty or I, well, yeah, any of her products. And I love this palette. It doesn't have all the fallout. They blend really well. Um, you can do so many different looks with this palette too, which is nice when that's all you're bringing for like three weeks because you kind of sometimes get bored with like the same stuff. At least I do. Um, for my transition shade, I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to go into this like orangey color right here. And I'm going to just apply like, super light like put my hand so far back because I want it to be like because these are pigmented and this can go from like zero to 90 real fast in color so I'm barely um barely applying and like lately I've just been doing 
just a much lighter eye, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Not doing the eyeliner, not doing all the smoked out under eye. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still do that, but on like day to day, I just feel like when it's 100, 105 out and you're roasting, I just, it's like I don't want just a ton of stuff on my eyes, you know, or my face in general. Like, I don't know the last time I wore concealer. Probably, well, it's been months. Um, I just try to limit. <laughs> limit yet load. Okay. So, now I'm going to go into... Um, let's see, I want to just use very few shades today. I'm just going to go into this pretty color right here. It's like a really dark brook brown color. And I'm just going to kind of apply this on the corner. And then kind of go in, but keep it lower than I did with the orange. So... For my vacation, my husband and I went to Poland. And I don't know if you've ever been there, but let me tell you, it was a gorgeous, gorgeous country. Oh my gosh, the food was so great. There's so much history there, so much really sad history. You know, we went to Auschwitz and um, we went to um, Schindler's Museum where he rescued kept, you know, thousands of Jews um, safe during the Holocaust. And the whole thing that sparked me wanting to go to Poland was I watched The Zookeeper's Wife last summer, and I was like, oh my gosh. And it, at the end of the movie, it said that this zoo still exists today in Warsaw, Poland. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go and see this place because this family owned the zoo and they saved 300 Jewish people also. They kept them safe um, during the Holocaust in their home. They risked their lives. And I was like, wow, that's just so amazing. Like, you know, we here in the U.S., we don't, we don't get the opportunity to really put our lives in danger to save strangers. And it's just like, gosh, if you were presented the opportunity to do that, would you? Would you risk it, you know? And it's just amazing that these people just, they just did it, you know? And it's just, gosh, it's like good people. But so anyway, we got to go and tour the home and see the basement where the people lived for three, four years. I think it was four years. They, three or four years, four years, I think. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was a really cool um, thing to experience. And um, yeah. It changes you. When you see something like that, it changes you. And of course, okay, I'm just going to go in a little darker just on my lid. I'm going to use this dark purple. It looks black, but it's purple. But yeah. Um, and then, of course, going to Auschwitz was like um, just... It just took your breath away, really. Like, it was the largest concentration camp that there was and um it just it i don't know uh, you know i was brought to tears several times through throughout the couple hours that we were there on a tour and it's just unbelievable you know what people experienced and what they went through and it's a hard part of history to think about and when you're there and you actually walk where millions of, of innocent men, women, children walked to their deaths, it's just, it really, it changes you. And it makes you appreciate life and um, freedom. And um, yeah, so Poland is great. There's also not, you know, that was like the deep, you know, hard days, but we had a lot of food. They have a lot of... Um, cool vodka bars there because vodka during world war ii vodka was really big i'm not going to get into that whole reason why but the russians were there they would kind of um they liked people to drink a lot of vodka um to make them drunk 
So lucky for us, they still have a lot of vodka bars, but they're really cool because they're super, they're infused. Like I had rose and there was peach, just really great, really unique flavors that you don't see everywhere. Um, yeah, so Poland was just magical. I would highly recommend it and it's super affordable, um, which is always a bonus when you're going to Europe because it's not like that because we also went to London so of course London is not you know as it as um, cheap as Poland so if you're ever wanting to go somewhere with a whole lot of history good food and a place where the dollar goes far I would go to Poland we went to Gdansk and then we went to Warsaw and then we went to um, Krakow those were the three cities that we went to and I would go back in a heartbeat yeah. All right. So now I'm just going to kind of clean up. I did have a tiny fallout. And I was like, I'm going to do like a really light summer eye. And then you got dark, but that's okay. Because I'm still making it. I'm not going to go like, you'll see. You'll see. All right, so I've kind of cleaned everything up, and now I'm going to just kind of step away for, actually, you know what, I'm gonna do one more thing with the eyes. I am going to take my finger onto this gold right here, and just kind of dot. And this is what I've been doing lately, is just kind of like, instead of getting a brush wet, and um, you know, with Fix Plus, and then, just doing all that, I just kind of like to do my finger and just kind of like that. Where it's just like, call it laziness, call it just tired of, I don't know. I just like to do it this way. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty even. I think so then I can just take this brush and just kind of do like that I didn't put any product on it okay and I brought nothing to clean my hand with um, whatever all right so going with the kind of like summery glow look this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion it is so wonderful I love it and this is really pretty to use like um, if you're not, I have stuff on this finger, so I'm like, I'll just wipe it there. Um, if you're, whoa, look at that. If you um, are not wanting to put on foundation, like if you're going to the pool or the beach or like whatever, but you want to glow, this stuff is awesome. And this, they have four different colors, and this is the second to lightest color that you can choose. It looks glowy, but once you put on your um, foundation, then. And for foundation, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I like this. I don't like it as much as the um, the Lancome uh, True Skin or whatever that one is that I, I that's like my go-to, but this is like to me it's a light foundation it's a light coverage and i just use a light coverage in the summer so i kind of i'm trying to just use this because i've had it for like a while and i don't want it to go bad so i've kind of been using this one up but my favorite is the lancome second skin your skin it's the one i've talked about in another video where it's like a skin tint and i love it that's what i took with me on our um trip and it's just so light it doesn't get like in your creases and stuff and it's just like you can apply it with your hands or you can apply it with a well you know me i always use my beauty blender but you can just rub it on with your hands if you want but this stuff is a really um to me it's you know not super full coverage not heavy but it's like expensive it's like 60 something dollars for this bottle so I don't really know that I would repurchase it, to be honest, but I just don't like to waste products, so I'm using it. But I, I feel like 
honestly, I feel like the L'Oreal um, Luminous, not Luminous, I'm so bad at remembering names. The foundation, my favorite foundation from L'Oreal is the same as this, so. So actually, no, I won't be repurchasing this. It's just expensive and there's just other stuff that's just as good for like not near as much. I think the um, Lancome one's like 40. So that's like 20 something dollars less. Since I have on a, this little neck thing, I don't have to go as far, but. Okay, so now. I'm going to do powder and I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder. I'm also not going to re- This is nice stuff, but it's expensive and I do not feel like it's near. Like, I, I have others that I like more. I like the um, Charlotte Tilbury um, powder, pressed powder, and I like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish much better. So, once I'm done with this, I'm not going to repurchase it. It's a nice powder, but I don't think it's anything like, it's not better than, than the others. I'll just say that. I'm just using the same powder just to go under my eyes. Um, let's see what else is going on for my summer. So next week I am actually going with my best friend and we are going to Seattle. So I'm super excited to go to Seattle because I've never been before. She has never been either. Um, so yeah, so we are going there and I'm really, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, seeing the place. Um, all right, so this is a new product that I love for summer when it's hot. I like to use cream products. So this is the Hourglass. This is called the Illumi Sheer Color Trio. So it's all cream products. You get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. And I love this. It's so easy to apply. Because this is actually the first time that I um, have used like a, a cream bronzer. I always thought, oh my gosh, they're going to be like so challenging to use. They're not at all. At all. So I just use the same damp beauty blender that I used um, for my foundation. And then all you do is you have to make sure you hit your hairline up here. So pull your hair back. And I just use this just like how I, if it was like, um, if it was a powder. So I just kind of hit my forehead. And I don't, you don't want to go way down here because it'll make this look like murky. You want to stay like up where this bone is. Which sometimes I don't do such a good job doing that. Like if you're darker, you don't have to always apply as much, but since I'm so fair skinned, I like to really, you know, go with it. And then I'm just gonna do a tiny here. I like to just do a little bit there. Although I have this like, so basically I work out a lot and I'm really guilty of working out and not like cleaning my face right after I work out and going and running errands and doing this and that. And then I end up with these like little bacteria, um, which it's gotten a lot better because I finally got some medicine for it. So anyway, the moral of the story is clean your face after you work out, even if it's just like a wipe or putting water on it. Um, so I try to just like when I get home at least wash, just wash my face off, like the sweat off basically. It's hard to tell if uh, I think it's all rubbed in. So that's it. So you can see that gave some color. Then I'm gonna use the same thing, go into the blush and the blush is so pretty and it's so easy. Like literally you just, I just kind of do the front like that. Front of my cheek, make them look a little like bl uh, flushed, blushed, duh, like that. Then for the highlighter, the highlighter is a little bit more challenging to get to um, show up, kind of. 
but I'm gonna and I don't really like to use my hand because I feel like it always looks very um like you can see my fingerprints so it's a super like light highlight very light And you start to, you can see it, right? A little bit. So I'm just kind of tapping, tapping, tapping. So I love this product. I mean, Hourglass is 100% like my favorite, I think my favorite brand. I just love their products. All of them that I have, I love. Okay. And the good thing about like cream products in the summer is that it just doesn't feel all drying. Like it makes my skin, because I'm so dry, it makes my skin feel like nice and dewy, which I love. And then I'm just going to use my finger and whoa. Do a little there, a little there. You can come under the, oh dang, I don't want to see that's what I did. I do. I don't want to screw up my... Oops. Sorry. There. You can do a little highlight there, highlight there. Um, mascara. Um, mascara I'm going to do off camera because it's boring. Um, but I am using a new... Actually, heck, I'll just do... I'll just fast forward through it. How's that? Girl. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it off camera, but I'm using milk. I got this as a, um, it's milk, the makeup, milk makeup Kush mascara, and I really, really, really like it. It's like this, the wand is like that, and it's a really good mascara. I'm like, I'll buy it full size when I. Okay. Um, so I got my mascara on, and now I am just going to move in to my lips. And you could go two ways with this. You could do like a bright lip, um, but I am going to go with something that's more light. Um, I'm going to go with a nudie lip and then I'm using the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. This is like an oldie but a goodie. Uh, if you need just like the perfect nude liner, you gotta try this on. It's so good. Okay, and then for lipstick, I'm gonna use <clears throat> Shy Girl by MAC. And it's a cream sheen finished. It's an oldie but a goodie, I've had this forever. And uh, it goes really well with Bully Bear. And then last, but certainly not least, I am going to use what I've been using all summer. This is what I took on my vacation, never got sick of it. I would use this during, like if we'd been out all day and I came back and we were gonna go to dinner, I didn't have time to really do my makeup, I would spray this on to kind of just freshen everything up. And this is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray. I love it. And they have this in travel size too, FYI. Yikes, didn't mean to do that. And I'm all wet, like my shirt's wet. Everything's like really wet right now. But let me zoom you out a little. Ow. <laughs> this is the finished look. This is a somewhat um, summery look and new products look and um, a lot of products in one look. So I kind of um, 
good for travel is what I should say. So I kind of just brought it all out there and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're having a great summer and great summer adventures and hopefully this helps um, you with your packing. Packing a little lighter maybe. Right? We can all use that. Right? All right. See you next time. Bye.